So I figured that we better start talking about some summer essentials or summer saviors or summer skin things, whatever you want to call it. We're going to talk a lot about summer. We're not just talking about skin. We're talking about hair and we're talking about saving our skin as well. Different things that I really enjoy and that I've re have really impressed me and that are my summer staples. That's probably what I should call it. Summer staples and essentials. All right, let's get going on what I found. The first thing when I start thinking about summer is I start thinking about the yummy fragrances, the beachy fragrances, and Sol de Janeiro just came out with three limited edition summer fragrances. There is, uh, I'm never gonna be able to say these. Anyway, it's Carioca Crush. Maybe that's what it's called. This one smells like it might have a little bit of peach in it along with their kind of signature vanilla beach vibes. I do get the definite beach vibes from all of these. This one was Summer Amor, Amor, Amor. This one is more like the original Boom Boom Cream or that Brazilian Crush that they have. And then this one right here is Deus de So. I know that I'm murdering those names. This one has more of a floral fragrance to it, but I can truly say that there is not one of these that I am not enjoying. I love spritzing these in my hair. I love layering them with the other fragrances that they have. I also really like using them with any of my body butters or anything that I use like that. They never really compete. They always just kind of go along and then that makes them last longer too. But I love these. I thought the fragrances of them were so, so good. If I was going to pick one, it would probably be this Summer Amore. I know I'm saying that wrong, but it probably would be the one that was in the hot pink bottle. So love those. And then I also want to tell you that during the summer when your skin is dry after maybe you've been in the ocean or the pool or the lake or whatever out in the sun, whatever, I have been absolutely loving this Gold Bond Radiance Renewal Hydrating Lotion. This has shea butter, coconut oil, and cocoa butter in it. And it says exfoliates, hydrates, and long lasting moisture for 24 hours. I love the fragrance of this. This reminds me of the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. It has that definite vanilla coconutty beach vibe fragrance to it. I love this. I love that it's a big, huge tub. This takes care of my crepey skin. And I have all that crepey skin from losing the weight and getting, you know, the little, looks like elephant skin across my arms and across my thighs and stuff. So I love how good this hydrates. And I love that it lasts for a really long time. Sometimes when you get a lotion and you're using it, you just feel like it sinks in and then why did I even put anything on? This sinks in and it is there and it is just lovely. It's nourishing hydrating and I definitely feel like it's a must for me. I keep buying this big one over and over again. My husband loves using it and he's a diabetic. So this has, it has that yummy fragrance to it. So we love this so much. Now, what actually kind of inspired this video was so many of you were asking me how I did my self tanning and what I use for my self tanner. And this is it right here. This is the Saint Tropez Self Tanner Mist for your body. Now, for a while I bought both, the face mist and the body mist. And then after a while I was like, why am I buying both? Because they both basically do the same thing. But what is really key to this is that it's not a thick lotion so you don't get patchy. It's really thin and as you're using it, you're distributing it and it's sinking right in so you don't have to worry about getting patchy. I never ever get patchy with this, but I also never get patchy because of this baby that I found. Now last year, the year before I was showing you a buffing brush that I was using to do my self tanner with. I think I like this one a little bit more, not only because it's like $30 cheaper than the one that I showed last time, but because this is the perfect round and it has a lot of give to it, it really buffs out. This is like buffing in powder foundation when you are just wanting that airbrushed perfection look. That's what it does with this. So what I do is I spray this on the brush itself and then I'll just go around and buff everything and make sure I just get everywhere. It is so easy to use. And the other thing is that this saves your hands from getting orange, which I absolutely love about it. it has this great handle where you can just put, you know, two fingers in between and go to town. So I really do love how good this is. But one of the things I will tell you is that you're gonna need two coats to get dark enough. 
and that could be just because I'm the fairest of the fair paper white woman, but it also could be because you do really need two coats to really see a really deepened tan. Now, if you just want that just natural glow, one is probably enough for you, but I really like this. And the other thing I like about it is that it lasts at least a week to 10 days on me. Most of them would start to fade really quickly and I would be patchy and they would wear off patchy. This doesn't wear off patchy. Yes, you're going to get that self tanner smell. And the reason that you get the self tanner smell is because of the chemical in it that is turning your skin the, the bronzy color. So there's really no way to get around that that I have seen with any other self tanners. I've tried probably 50 self tanners. If you know of one that's not patchy and gives you an even tan and wears off really well and doesn't have that smell, let me know because this one so far is my very, very favorite. I've shown this for a couple of years now. Also, if you're somebody that lives in the pool or you're somebody that has hard water in your house, you're going to want to try the Color Wow Dream Filter. This is to help take the hard water or the chemicals out of your hair pre-shampoo so that you can show off your color as it is. So if you have colored hair or if you have natural color hair that gets discolored because of your water that you have has chlorine in it or that you've gotten in the pool, this is really going to be your best friend. This is something that I learned about two years ago, I think when it came out. I really love using this maybe once or twice a month. I don't use it that often, probably once a month. And it does seem to just really brighten up your color. It's going to show off your true color. You're going to have that vibrancy without taking out your color. That's key. So you just spritz this in and then you're gonna go in your shower and you're going to shampoo as usual, follow the directions. You're gonna love that your color has gotten back to normal because I don't think that we all realize how many chemicals our drinking water has in it and the water that we bathe in has in it, unfortunately. They have to do that to keep us safe from all the germs and the bacteria, I get it. But at the same time, it really does wreak havoc with our skin and our hair. So this is something that I think that you'll really enjoy and this is last me a really long time. I've had it for a really long time. The two sunscreens that I'm in love with right now, and I've talked about this one a million times, so I'm just going to kind of skip over it, is the NYX Blur Screen SPF 30. Very hydrating. I can use this as a primer and a moisturizer and a sunscreen, skip all those steps, but I can do that with this one too. I've recently fallen in love with the mineral sunscreen from Naked Sundays. It's 100% mineral sunscreen. It does have a little bit of a white cast when you first put it on, but it really sinks in really quickly and it leaves this little tiny bit of a blur like a primer would do. So I really like this and it's very, very moisturizing. I love that about it more than anything. I think the hydration in it is just wonderful. And for a mineral sunscreen, I think this is spot on. I think this is one that I'm just really enjoying. But Naked Sunday, they sent me this by the way, but they also sent me this one that is their spray. And so if you have your makeup on and you wanna reapply your sunscreen, Beautiful way to do it with this. It's a really fine mist, so it's not gonna disrupt your makeup, which I think is fantastic. Has a little bit of a fragrance in it. It almost smells like it might be a little bit of citrus, not overwhelming or anything like that, but a beautiful way to be able to keep your makeup on, keep your skin protected, and all of the great sun protection that we need. By the way, this is an SPF of 50 plus plus something. While we're talking about sun protection, two things that are a must for sun protection. I have this adorable hat. Let me tuck away the little strap there. This adorable hat that I got off of Amazon and my shades. So both of these will be listed. What I love about these shades is they come in a two pack and they're dark enough that it really blocks out the sun. They have these cute little bling crystals right here on the side of them and pretty arms on there with the gold on it. I really have loved these. I have a pair of black ones that have a little bit of a purple tint to them, and then I have these. I also like about this company that sends these out that the holder that they have, it actually doubles as a cleaner for your glasses. It has that microfiber on it, so I really like that. But the hat is huge on the brim, and I love that about it. And then the other thing 
that I like about it is the cute bow that's in the back. It's just really cute. This is a great hat. I've shown a hat on here before, but I wanted to show this one. When I'm doing my gardening, I'm always wearing a hat. And if I go out on a boat or out for a day in the sun, I'm gonna be wearing a hat. Because even though you are wearing, sun, wearing sunscreen, sometimes we need to be able to have the extra protection. And this is a great way to keep our faces from getting any sun damage. My personal rechargeable, wearable fan it comes with this little band right here that you can hook around your neck and you can just lay it right here and you can wear it if you want to or it can be on a desktop it has a little holder right here it has five different speeds i'm going to turn mine on and just keep it on right now because i'm sweating in here because yes it is very warm but i love this little thing because you can move it around it's small enough to throw in a beach bag if you want to but in the summer, I have to have a portable fan. This is a summer savior for me. Absolutely, 100% a summer savior for me. I love this little fan. And I think that anybody that has hot flashes or anything should grab one of these because it's personal enough that it's not gonna disrupt everybody else, um, but you're getting all of the cooling effect. And I'm going to keep that on while I'm talking to you. Two more things that are my summer saviors. I've talked about this all the time. I get it, girls. We girlfriends have to share secrets. Lady anti-monkey butt powder. This is so good. I use it all the way through summer to prevent chafing between my thighs, in my lady parts, under my boobs, my boob sweat. We all know this about all of us mostly that have been through menopause, get boob sweat. If a person doesn't get boob sweat when they're going through menopause, I wanna shake your hand because I am so jealous of you, but this helps so much. This is cornstarch, no talc. You're going to be able to put it everywhere and no problems and it is so fine and it really does absorb all of the sweat. So this is one that I put in every video where I'm talking about sweating or needing extra protection to keep you dry. This is really good. Between the butt cheeks, girly parts, boob sweat. We got it covered, girlfriends. We're there. So really like that. And let's say that you are out on the boat and you do get too much of sun for the day and you get a little bit of a burn. Here is my number one pick. This is 99% aloe vera juice. You do have to be careful with some of the other ones because they aren't as strong as this. If I had my choice, I would pick a leaf off of an aloe vera plant, but I can't seem to grow one. I uh, don't know why, because I can usually grow, plant, grow plants okay, but this is the next best thing because it is 99% aloe vera, very healing. And also, if you like this, you can also use this if you have a new face or an, a microcurrent device. You can, uh, there went one of my lights. You can also use this as a conductive gel if you want to. It's nice, it sinks in, it's very soothing, and it does help heal the burn quicker. Lastly, if you're somebody like me that pulls their hair up all summer long, I found these cute clips. I think that this actually came as a set of four, might just be a set of three, but let me show you how cute these are. This is a heart, and I just thought it was so great for my hair because I have kind of medium length hair, not terribly thick, but not terribly thin, and these grasp really well. So I can very easily put my hair up and it just grabs onto it and holds it so nicely. So there they are. I really like how cute they are in the back as well as how well they hold up my hair. And that is my summer saviors in a nutshell. I hope that you did enjoy seeing this video. Please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel already, please do. If you're new, welcome. I'm glad that you're here and I can't wait to get acquainted with you. Let me know down in the comment section if there are any summer saviors that you have to have in your arsenal to help you get through summer. I would love to know that. Hope that you're all doing really well and take care of yourselves. I will see you in my next video. Love you much. Goodbye, my friends.